Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Meet our new family member. <laughs> Hello gorgeous. She's called Maple and she is our family dog. And we've wanted a dog for a very, very, very long time, haven't we? And Maple fell into our lives. The stars kind of aligned. Basically she needed a home and someone couldn't take her and we got asked if we wanted her so this has been a very last minute but very special gift to our whole family <gasps> and oh, just look I just wanted to film like as soon as we got her so that I can document this and give you guys an intro into what's happening oh my god she's literally like asleep on me so she's a miniature golden doodle and she's got these gorgeous dark ears with white underneath she's got the most gorgeous little white belly and a white paw at the back. This little nose. And I think she loves me. <laughs> She's just so cute. So I just wanted to give you a little introduction to her. Oh, how many weeks old is she? She's about eight weeks old. And she's very sleepy. And very, very, very loved. Look, you want to say hi to everyone? Oh, are you going to say hi to my audience? She's got these little eyelashes that are orange. Oh, she's actually so placid and so calm. Feel your heart beating. She's not wriggling or anything. She's just, just lovely, aren't you? Just lovely. And her skin is so soft and she's going to be very curly if she looks anything like the other golden noodles we've seen. So, I will fill you with lots of updates. Hey guys, it's the next day now and I am back home and I have had so many questions on Instagram about Maple so I'm going to answer some on the vlog and do this as like an introduction and tell you some things that I maybe didn't mention yesterday because I was very excited and very flustered but I wanted to film that moment so I'm just going to cook up some food, we're going to have some pasta for our dinner which I'm so excited about and I'm going to answer some questions whilst we're cooking away, we're going to have some drinks as well because celebrations. So this arrived from our face at Johnny Walker. I'll do the honours. Matt's already done the honours. It's a new gifting set that's just launched for Johnny Walker on malts.com. I will link it below. We are very excited. It comes with a bottle of Johnny Walker, glassware and a fever treat ginger mixer and it all comes in one gift box. This little gift box for £45 would actually be a good oh Father's Day present or grandfather or father figure or stepfather or just have it with your boyfriend like I'm gonna do. We really like Johnny Walker. Our favorite drink is, it's kind of like a gin and tonic, but you do it with whiskey instead. So it all comes in this little box with this glassware actually. So perfect for whiskey drinkers. It's absolutely gorgeous in the black packaging as well. And I can't wait to have that. So we're gonna have a drink of this and we are gonna have some pasta whilst we talk to you and answer all the maple questions. Oh, look at that. Mm, this is one of my favourite pastas, Fusilli. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I feel like the sauce just gets stuck in it and it's so much nicer. And then we have a tomato sauce, herbs. I whipped my own one of these up the other day. I used red peppers, garlic, chilli and tin tomatoes and I put in my Nutribullet and it was so good on my pasta. Wow, that is a lot of herbs. I'm trying to get ice cubes out, oh my god. <laughs> Have you done it? Well done! Ah, uh, yay! With some ginger ale, yes. And now we mix it all in. Oh my gosh, so this thing is called a spider. My best ever Amazon purchase. Mm -mm -mm. Perfecto, now we eat. Okay, so here's our date night setup. Cheers! Love that. 
so excited so it's like a really refreshing drink because whiskey is not just like a manly drink you can make it really nice and refreshing for summer and then we have our pasta and we are gonna sit and eat it here divine that's quite traditional he likes a whiskey and coke i was just saying it's so good with ginger ale i didn't want that piece of hair staying i'm all dressed up for our little date night that we'd planned in the garden let's just put in the parmesan lashings on okay so let's talk praying my camera doesn't fall from there oh my gosh this pasta is so good so we went for the name i'm answering some faqs by the way <laughs> frequently asked questions because i got so many of them on the instagram dm this is shaking every time we eat pasta maybe this wasn't my brightest idea so we went for the name maple girl but a lot of people think she's a boy i think it is quite like a gender neutral name that we went for the name maple because we love canada oh i used to live in canada my family loved visiting canada and also mom's partner loves maple syrup and to be honest we all love maple syrup who doesn't love maple syrup so that's why we went for the name maple and she's a girl we got her when she was eight weeks old we didn't visit her before that or anything because it wasn't really as planned we have always wanted a dog in our family this isn't like a lockdown trend we've wanted a dog as a family for like years and years me and my brother have been begging my mom and actually me and matt have wanted a dog for a long long time this just completely randomly happened where a family couldn't take the dog and we were very lucky where is the dog living this seems to be the most asked question ever i have replied to so many dms about this i got a pound for every time someone dm me this I'd be right. I didn't want to talk about this because it was meant to be a surprise video and it was meant to be a secret video. I was going to announce everything. But we were meant to be moving house. Typical that a motorbike just gone past and I said that. We were meant to be moving house and the whole plan is that moving house actually fitted in with the dog's arrival date. So it was meant to be perfect. Like it's like our stars aligned. We'd already planned to move house to somewhere with a much bigger outdoor space. And then we were like, oh my gosh, and now we've been offered this dog, which is just insane, and we have to take it. And now we're not moving house. We don't know when we're moving house. I don't want to say too much, but I can say we weren't meant to be moving house. So the dog was meant to be mine and living in the new house with me, with a nice big outdoor space. And because we've not been able to move, we've now decided, well, I decided that it just was not fair to have a dog in a small London flat. Like our flat isn't that small. It's more like, I think there's too many hazards for a dog in the current flat and also, the garden just i just think there's too many things that could go wrong so for the welfare of maple i asked my mum if she could take the puppy and obviously she's over the moon because she's always wanted a puppy so it's turned into a family puppy but it's still my puppy it's still our whole family puppy and i work between yorkshire and london anyway so if corona wasn't a thing i'd be with her literally every other week because i go back like every other week anyway it's just at the moment I had to put the welfare of the dog first and I didn't want to tell you all that I was moving because it was meant to be a surprise and maybe like surprise I moved but we've had a lot of roadblocks so yeah that was all very last minute. I've had a lot of questions. Matt's eaten most of the past while I've been talking. Oh my god you're gonna have to give me a second portion. Um, if you drove to Leeds I've not driven to Leeds I've not been up north we actually just literally popped up the road in our car and it was all social distance and it was all fine so that's all good. Matt and I actually haven't been anywhere for 12 weeks so we haven't even been to a supermarket so we're all good there but everything was done social distancing guidelines so boris do not worry we stick to social distancing oh my god there's literally barely any pasta left she is a mix between a golden retriever and a poodle a miniature poodle she's probably going to be about medium sized and we think she's going to be quite curly which will be amazing how have my family been getting on they adore her so they're really happy to take this on it's an amazing challenge for my brother as well and i just had to put the welfare of the puppy before me selfishly wanting to have a puppy in my house it was just not fair for me to have a puppy in this current garden and set up but yeah if covid wasn't a thing i'd be home every single day and years and years ago i always wanted an australian labradoodle because i thought oh my god they're so fluffy and they're so amazing and then we did some research and we were like on some lists and stuff and we were waiting and nothing ever kind of came about and then i just happened to get this message about maple saying we have this girl and she needs a home and we were like oh my god this is like insane but so that's why i rushed to try and get the house sorted so golden doodles as dogs miniature golden doodles they grow kind of medium size they're gonna be very fluffy very curly and apparently they're not very good guard dogs they're like guard dogs they're like really like 
nice friendly placid dogs which I mean it just worked out so well for my family because that's everything we wanted and needed and I also share everything with my family so I was like I'm gonna put the dog's welfare first and also it means that they get to have puppy cuddles and mum is just like in love I mean she's literally in love I can't wait to get home to see she sleeps all the time she sleeps like 20 hours a day I FaceTime her literally all day every day I get videos of her all day and now it's just a waiting game to see when I can go home and see her. So I'll keep you guys updated. Obviously it's very hard for me that I can't actually see right now. As soon as like everything's all good with COVID, I live between Yorkshire and London anyway. I actually ended up spending so much time in Yorkshire before COVID. Um, so it will just be exactly the same. Matt doesn't want to be on the camera, but how amazing is she? Yeah, she's unreal. How cute is she? She's very playful, which is what I like. Very fluffy. And she's getting nice and fluffy, yeah. But she's also very calm as well. She just like sleeps. She just sleeps light, she? <laughs> So we'll be with her really soon. We literally can't wait. And I'll keep you guys updated. But yes, of course, you're going to see her grow up. You're going to see her everywhere. There's going to be constant updates. We've made her on Instagram. She's going to be everywhere. Do not fear. And I'll keep you guys updated with the house stuff as well and tell you more on that when I can. But half of our house is currently packed up because we thought we were moving. So yeah, ruined that was a surprise, but we all good. It's happy vibes, it's all good. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Come say hi on Instagram at mshellex and obviously Maple's Instagram, Maple Doodle Diaries.